In this video, we'll be trying out the Top Dawn Top Scan. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome to Random Fix. So I try out many different scan tools and I've had the pleasure of testing out big scan tools like this. Now I am trying out some of these app-based Bluetooth OBD2 scan tools that basically connect to your vehicle and you use an app on your phone to go and retrieve the data. So you don't have this big display and you gotta be a little bit more phone reliant. So let me show you guys what is included in this top down unit. And then we'll go and jump in the vehicle. I'll connect it to a vehicle, show you the use of it. And then we'll come back to the bench and I'll give it a grade of one through 10 and give you guys my final thoughts on if this is a unit that you should buy for yourself. So this is gonna be the OBD2 Bluetooth right here. This has a nice weight to it and very sleek design. It is going to have a USB-C connector right here. So in case you need to go and update this and you're not in the vehicle, you can go and connect this to a USB-C cable and then connect to the app and then update this because these do get occasional updates. And I'm going to go and try this out in the vehicle now and we can try out some of the different functions and you guys can make a decision for yourself. Let's go jump inside the vehicle now. Before we hop in the vehicle, I did want to mention that all of these OBD2 Bluetooth devices here will work on any vehicle 1996 and newer and they work on many different makes from Asian to European to all the American vehicles and they're very easy to go and plug in which I'll show you guys now. So this is how easy it is to connect the top down unit to your vehicle. You want to find this OBD2 port. On most vehicles this is going to be found in the driver's side footwell area and all you do is you slide this into place. And once you hear that beep and that red LED, then you know the unit is connected. And all you have to do is turn on the ignition and you can tell the ignition is on because the check engine light will be on, but the motor should not be running. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go and engage an airbag light and also the check engine light. So both of those are on. And now let me hop behind the app so I can show you guys how the unit works and you guys could take a look at it yourself. So I'm using this on it. Apple device and I have tested this on Android and it does work. Let's go through it and launch this app. And it's gonna be right here, it says Top Guru. Click on that and with this device, you do have to register your email and it may take you a minute, but it's a pretty simple process. And this is gonna be the layout. Up top, we have a diagnostic button, which we'll test out in a few minutes. We have an inspection monitor button. If you click on that, you should connect to the Bluetooth device. If it doesn't, you wanna look for this JV 110 device right here. Here's the two different protocols. You want to choose the very first one since DTC is cleared. And this is going to be the way it looks on the actual top down unit here. And I really am not a big fan of their inspection monitor representation here as it looks like the car should be good because it says pass up top. But this vehicle is definitely not ready for a smog because I have certain monitors that are not ready. And it's just not as clear as some of the other units that are on the market. For example, under number of DTCs towards the top, it just shows a green check mark instead of showing the number of diagnostic trouble codes. So this could be a little bit hard to interpret. So I'm not a big fan of their inspection monitor information. And let's go through and check out the rest of this. So we have an oil maintenance. And if you choose your vehicle, you can go through and try to decode the VIN by hitting read VIN. You have to choose the market, the year of the vehicle. So this is going to be a lot of manual input on this one. And the only option on the oil function that gives me is a manual reset. So basically, I have to use the buttons on the actual steering wheel to reset the oil indicator lamp. And we have a throttle, electronic parking brake, and steering, ABS, DPF, EMS. So if you have to register a battery and the airbag. So this has a total of eight different icons listed here. And some of these are not going to apply to my vehicle. For example, this Toyota Prius is not a diesel. So the DPF should not apply and i wish they actually just went through and not even had it highlighted as it's kind of misleading but we'll talk a little bit more about the special functions later towards the end of the video we also have a dtc or diagnostic trouble code repair guide technical service bulletins this was something that was also listed on the blue driver video if you guys haven't checked out the blue driver video i'll leave you guys a link to that and also the think unit and the technical service bulletin is really nice. 
as it will go through and give you information. And if you're having an issue with your vehicle, this could potentially lead you in the right way. And when you're doing this, you definitely need internet. And right now, as you guys can see, it is not pulling up the information. I have internet. So that is going to be a little hard to go and get the TSBs for this vehicle. So that was a little disappointing. The app crashed and it lost connection. So I had to restart it. And let's go and try the TSBs one more time. And again, same issue. Let's go to the mall. So this is going to be the mall where you can go and renew your membership and subscription. So this is going to cost you $49 a year. If you guys are looking for a unit that includes lifetime of support, check out the Blue Driver video. But make sure you guys check the video before you hitch us because even though that includes lifetime updates, there's some things you want to know about it before you go and hit that buy button. And we have a system messages and notifications. And here's going to be the account section. And in case there's a firmware update available, this is where you can do it. Again, my device is up to date. Let's go through diagnostics because I've actually had a pretty decent experience with this top down unit last time I used it. So I'm really surprised that I'm getting that glitch here on the TSPs. Let's do an automatic selection. Hit read. We're gonna, again, we're going to choose the region and the car information. And here we can choose diagnostic functions or hot functions. The hot functions are the ones for the electronic parking brakes or the battery registration. We're going to stick with the diagnostic functions here and let's go through and do an auto scan. So this is really nice and it'll scan every system that is online and that the top down unit can communicate with. And as a pro tip, if you guys just bought a vehicle or are just beginning your troubleshooting journey because it is a journey and you have a lot of codes. One thing that I recommend besides saving your first initial scan and having that for reference anytime in the future, clear all the trouble codes. As if the vehicle had a dead battery in the past, you're going to get all kinds of trouble codes that may not be really worthwhile investigating as the low battery can go and cause havoc across all the vehicle systems, including transmissions, modules, and everything will basically not function correctly. Keep that in mind. Just do an initial clear. Under engine here, we have six trouble codes. Under the airbag system, we have two trouble codes. And the rest of it looks okay. So we can do a report right here. And we can also clear all the diagnostic trouble codes if we wanted to. I'm going to go and do a quick report. And this unit is really nice. It did pick up the miles, which is impressive. And I automatically knew that I did not go and enter that in. That is the correct miles. And here's the report. And it's going to give me a summary of everything that's going on. I can click on this. And if I scroll down a little bit further, it lets me know what the trouble codes are. And it lets me know if they're current or they're from history. And one thing that I don't like about the function here is there's permanent codes, there's stored codes, and then there's pending codes. On this particular scan, I'm only seeing the current and the pending code. So it's not showing me the permanent codes. If you guys are watching this video and buying one of these scan tools for emissions reasons, because your vehicle needs to pass, make sure you guys understand that permanent diagnostic codes cannot be cleared. So I have a whole playlist on drive cycles and passing an emissions tests. If that is something that interests you, I will leave you guys a link in the video box down below. And if you guys need help with anything, please comment down below and I'll try to point you in the right direction. So let's go through and clear all these codes to make sure that this particular scan tool can go through and clear everything up. And I just witnessed the dash lights all turn off. So the airbag light is gone and the check engine light is gone. And we can go through and do a quick rescan if needed. And you guys can see towards the top that that is done. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this scan because we've already confirmed that those codes have been deleted. So this is not the reason why you actually want to buy one of these scan tools. You want to buy the scan tool, not even for the hot functions, those resets that I showed you earlier, like the steering wheel angle sensor, the electronic parking brakes. You want to buy this unit because of the fact that this can go through and do active tests. And this is the reason you may be more inclined to go and pay that yearly $50 fee that it costs to go and keep your membership going after the first year because you can go send commands to the vehicle for example if i was troubleshooting for instance the window here i can simply click a button and tell the window to go up and down 
Now, if the window goes up and down and it's still not working on the vehicle's end, I can pretty much conclude that the motor works. However, I have something going on with one of the modules or, or the, the master window switch on the driver's side. So this is the reason you want to go through and buy an active bi-directional scan tool like this because of these functions. And this is not just for windows. You can use it for components throughout the vehicle, such as fans. You can go through and open up and close valves, relays, engage pumps, and solenoids. So it makes your troubleshooting journey a lot easier. And you don't have to rip the whole car apart and go inspect every little tiny wire with a power probe or a meter. You can just send a command, see if it works. Then you can move on to the next step of your diagnostic journey. As I was shooting the top down, top scan video here, it started raining guys. And what a gorgeous day it is here. If you guys have never experienced a Texas rain, it is definitely worth experiencing. This is mild and wait until you see heavy guys. It's something that's almost out of a movie because when the rain comes in, it literally comes in sideways. I was pretty surprised when I first saw it. If you ever get a chance to witness a storm in Texas, enjoy it because it's something spectacular. Now let's go and give this that random fix tool grade and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so we're back at the bench and these are giving my final thoughts on the scan tool here by Top Dawn. So I liked a lot of things about the unit. I like the packaging. It had a really nice QR code here for iOS to go and download the app. On Android, it was a little bit more difficult. If I didn't mention earlier, I have tried this on Android, and yes, it does work. It's very easy to go ahead and connect. The login process does take a few minutes, so you do have to create an account. The auto VIN does work. It does require a little bit more input on the auto VIN on this unit, so I wasn't really a big fan of that. And this does have those active tests that I absolutely love that you can get on these bigger units over here. So this is the real reason you want to pay that 50 bucks so you can send commands to the vehicles to engage certain components. And this right here, guys, is something I'm going to use throughout the video just to explain to you guys. This is an OBD2 reader. Both of these will work on any vehicle 1996 and newer. This one can read and clear data. This one can read, clear, and send commands to the vehicle. That's really the difference. And so if you guys are in the market for one of these tools and you don't know which one to buy, I have a comparison video where I break everything down into one simple video on all three of these units. And this did have a lot of the functions that I was looking for that you're going to need in a basic repair tool. So you can send a command to the vehicle to disengage the rear brake. So you can work on your brakes with this particular scan tool, which is definitely going to save you guys some money because brakes are very expensive and they make a lot of money for dealerships and shops. But to tell you guys the truth, they're really easy. If you guys haven't checked out my brake videos, I probably have about 40, 50 videos on how to do brakes and some helpful tips. So if you have a modern vehicle, you can grab yourself one of these and save yourself that cash and just do it yourself. It'd probably take you about an hour. As far as the HUD functions, the top down unit is supposed to support up to eight. And on the Toyota, it actually supported five because some of the other ones that were listed don't even apply to the vehicle, such as a diesel particulate filter. And with this unit, we we're able to access the engine, transmission, airbags, TPMS system, throttle body, and it'll give you basic directions on how to reset oil indicators. And this is not having graphing, but the Bluetooth had decent range, so you could work from it from the comfort of your garage. And the speed on this was an 8 out of 10. Inspection monitor data on the top down unit. This is the data that's used for you to verify that your car is ready for an emissions test. It's going to be a little misleading and a little tricky. So I really don't like the way that that information is displayed here on the top down unit. I was not able to find the permanent diagnostic codes here on the top down unit. So if you guys do find those, please let me know. I would love to know where they have arranged that information. And I didn't show you guys on the video. There's also a performance test on the top down unit. I think this is more of a gimmick. It basically will give you a 0 to 60 time and let you know how fast you're going. Things like that have been around for a very long time. And visually, it looks cool. But honestly, in the real world, we're not going to go and need that information. And I don't think it's really accurate. So if you guys are currently wondering as far as the cost, I think this is running around $69. I actually received this unit right here from Top Dawn 
to go and try it on this video. I have paid for the blue driver and also that out of my own pocket. But this unit was provided to me by Top Don for a review. And to summarize this all up, guys, I'm going to go and give the Top Don Top Scan unit a 7 out of 10. So if that's something that you guys feel comfortable with and you think it's a good score, I'll leave you guys a link to this particular product in the video description box down below as well as at the end of the video you can just click on the icon and it'll take you right to the page so you can go ahead and buy this and i'll leave you guys a playlist where you guys can check out these particular two scan tools and also the three in one comparison video if you guys just want to save yourself some time and find the best scan tool for yourself so right when i got done with the video the rain stopped but that doesn't mean you should stop hitting that thumbs up button guys just hit it once and it will really make me feel good and i really do appreciate it i hope i gave you guys a little value here in this video and i just realized i need a haircut so after finishing this video i am going to go get a haircut and if you guys are new to the whole auto repair world and you don't know which device you should buy if you should buy app based scan tool or a real scan tool with a tablet go ahead and comment down below i really do try to get back to you guys and i'll point you guys in the right direction if you guys found this video to be helpful make sure you guys do not forget to hit that little subscribe button right there and also that little bell notification and make it a great day thanks